my mother, my grandmother and my auntie all made their entire wardrobes, all stylistically really different and how they actually went about it. My mother was kind of very analytical and impeccable in her make and finish of her garments. My auntie was much kind of freer and quite wild and artistic in what she did and my um, my Uma or my grandmother was a, a tailor and a, and a milliner. Their influence on me was probably a bit of a fusion between my my um, my auntie and, and my mum. I'm probably a bit like both of them. I can be very um, analytical in what I do and I can also be like pretty free and um, creative with it. For me, um, design has been something that I've, I've always done since I was a really young person. My career was basically an inevitable thing that I was going to do since I was around about 10. It's sort of, um, I guess it's developed into focus and design, but it's really probably started with wanting to make things and loving to make things as a kid. I grew up like in and around Cronulla. My memories of would be swimming out with my dad and just playing in, in waves and, and, and um, just having great days where you just go home, probably a little bit too sunburnt for what is PC now, but that's what you did. You know, particularly overseas when we're sort of asked to describe how our Australianness comes through, I think the way that I grew up with pool parties and in a relaxed, fun kind of way is a part of what it is that we do. Our studio is in Rosebury and we've been in two different areas in Rosebury and previous to that we were in Surrey Hills. It has to have a balance, it has to have creativity and then it has to function. It's kind of like clothing, like it has to be aesthetic but it's got to have a function. So I guess our room is in a, you know, it works for me in a similar way. It's white, it has polished concrete floors but there's beautiful pictures around, there's amazing prints being developed here and there. So it works streamlined and for me, it might be the Virgo in me, I like it tidy. <laughs> I think the progression of how I've seen fashion expressed from when we started to where it is now is like polars apart. When we first started, it was such a small, a majority of people that were actually interested in fashion and it was very um, very much dictated from what was happening internationally and and I mean all of this has to do with new media and internet online and and the development of where that is now which is um, 100% immediate and whatever you do is out there then now and I mean it's fascinating it's amazing for us it's it's made us move our business um, in the recent years to, to be focused on that and it means like as far as for Australians there is more people interested in, in fashion and the industries in and around it than ever before. The difference between that and 25 years ago is indescribable. I've always had a very very direct path and I'm probably still on what at 13 I wanted to do I'm still getting there